Hi there, welcome to this video. This is actually part of a longer video which I have put a link to in the description. And in this video, we're actually just gonna be looking at one app specifically. If you wanna see all the apps, then check out my main video here and you'll be able to see me run through each and every one of them. Right, next up we have Multistar. Now this is quite a nice little application which allows you to open apps which shouldn't normally be allowed to be opened in split screen view in split screen view. So once you've enabled this and enabled the multi window to all apps, you do need to reboot your phone when you do this. You can then actually choose multiple apps to put into split screen mode. So for example, maybe there's two games you want to play at the same time. So if I just run through the options here and then I'll show you how it actually works. So do the quick launch here so we can hold, I've set it to hold the recent key here to actually launch this. I think that's the easiest way to do it. We've enabled it for all apps. Multi-window zoom, so when the app is running with the multi-window, the screen is reduced to show a lot of the content. So if you want it scaled down as if it's like a little mini screen, you could enable that. I've turned it off because I didn't uh, find I actually required it, but there's potentially some apps where you may need to turn that on. I've enabled multi-focus so that if you're in an app on the left-hand side and you're no longer using the app on the right-hand side, it doesn't suddenly you know, time out or anything. It will carry on going. Now you have some other settings here where you can actually set an app to be in the pop-up view. So it pops up out of where the main screen is and then you can have it floating around on the screen. Now here you can actually set the size of the screen that you want to be able to allow this in. So if I set it to the biggest, for example, if I swipe diagonally across here or diagonally across here, the app I'm in will open up into the pop-up view. So I can just give that a quick try. And here we go, we've got a good block in the pop-up view. So you can see here, it pops up into its own window. Now I've found that I actually need to have that quite small because I was finding it was popping up, up when I was trying to scroll the navigation status bar down. So I have mine to about here and then I know that I can still do that if I so wish. So here we can also enable the pop-up to view the last uh, way you had it before. So if you set it to a certain size and you wanted it to always be that size when you pop up, then you can turn that on. We can also enable the prevention of the pop-up view minimization. We can change the split screen color here. So the color bar that's between your two apps. Let's put it as a red one so we can see it easily. And we can see here that these two are now included starting with Android Q. This is the default option. And this one has been moved into the sound assistant for the multi-sound. Okay, so let's go through an example of using Multistar with our multi-window. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into an app, say The Sims. Now, once we're in this app, if we bring up the task switcher and press and hold, we can now choose our second app to go into. So I'm gonna load up Dream Hospital here. And you can see we now actually have two games running at the same time. And we could, you know, play and do whatever we wanted to do without actually having to go into different apps. So it's quite good. The sound, as you can hear, works from both games at the same time. And you can just play two games at the same time. Now, obviously, you can use it with any other app. So web browsing, YouTube, you know, have a video playing here whilst browsing the internet there. And yeah, that's quite a good one, actually. I think a lot of people find that quite useful. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again in the next one.